Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and this is an asteroid that's about to collide with North America. Now, do you actually know what the biggest crater on our planet is? Or specifically, what are some of the biggest ones out there and what actually created them? This video is going to be just about that, we're going to talk about three specific craters. One of them I've actually driven through, one of them I swam in and uh, one of them, well, I'm still yet to visit. But anyway, so let's start our adventure uh, with the one that I, I visited right after I finished college, actually. This is, okay, it's kind of hard to see it from here because this map is not super accurate. So let's go to the actual map. This is actually in my home country of Canada. And it's a crater known as the Sudbury Basin. Now, it's going to be really difficult to actually see it, mostly because it's no longer very easily visible. So Sudbury is actually a city in um, Ontario and Canada and um, it's known for its uh, nickel mines, it's also known for its copper mines and all of this nickel and copper was basically the result of a um, collision. It was a result of an impact that happened approximately 1.8 billion years ago. The actual impact, okay it's going to be hard to see so we're going to make this three-dimensional, um, is basically right here. It's this large area that is no longer actually circular because it eroded over time and turned into a kind of an oval and you can maybe see parts of it right here. Here's actually a map from the 50s showing you where all the deposits are. There's the city of Sudbury and uh, you can see that there's a lot of a lot of metal that was deposited as a result of this um, collision. So um, it essentially created a very thriving industry of metal extraction in this particular region and this is how Sudbury was born to begin with. And when I was driving th through it, I think I was actually using this road right here, um, you don't actually feel like you're in a crater, at least what you would imagine it to be. There are definitely visible areas that are lower than other areas, and you can actually even stand on the edge of the crater somewhere right here, I believe, and then look down and see the valley below you. Uh, but in the way that we imagine craters, it's really not like that at all. Now, this is the third biggest. It's approximately 130 kilometers in diameter. The second biggest is obviously the one that killed the dinosaurs. It's right here in Mexico. This is near Yucatan. But this one, for the most part, is underwater. And I actually got to swim somewhere here years ago. Um, and it was kind of cool. You kind of know that you're inside a crater. But you don't really see the actual crater formations. And also, when I said it killed the dinosaurs, I really should have specified it sort of helped in the demise of dinosaurs, as I explained in one of the other videos, where we now believe that the dinosaurs probably died as a result of this, plus the volcanic eruptions. Um, but let's go to the biggest crater in the world. And this is actually something that I wanted to show you in a while, mostly because it's still not even nearly as big as the ones on the moon, which is, in a sense, a bit of a mystery. So, if you go to South Africa, right here, as I zoom in, you'll start seeing this unusual circular shape right there. This right here is known as the Rutherford Crater, but this is only the inner part, because the Rutherford Crater was formed by such a powerful collision from a rock that I'm going to simulate right here in Universe Sandbox. So let's try to simulate this. So there is um, the actual asteroid that's about to collide with our planet. It's approximately anywhere from 8 to 10 kilometers in radius, or basically about 20 kilometers in diameter, maybe a little bit less. And it's going to create this really, really large explosion and what's known as a multi-ring crater. Uh, we've actually seen these types of craters on other planets, or actually other moons. Um, and the most famous one, what a beautiful explosion. All right, the most famous one is actually on Callisto, the moon of Jupiter. And it kind of looks like this. So this is Callisto, the moon of Jupiter. And you can kind of see there's a large formation here in the middle. And then there are rings around it. And that's because the whatever object collided with a Callisto, most likely, of course, an asteroid, created such a powerful explosion that it made the actual surface um, kind of go up and down a lot and form these unusual rings as a result. So this is actually the biggest such crater in our solar system and probably the most well known. This is known as the Valhalla Crater. But the one on the surface of our planet here in South Africa um, has actually eroded quite dramatically. It happened about 2 billion years ago and since then there's basically nothing left. There's actually a really good picture 
right here that shows you what the crater may have looked like before it eroded. And this is where it is now. So basically all of these parts, including the central region and of course the uh, rings that were there has actually eroded since. And as you can see, it was a tremendously large uh, crater. So if you look at this city, this is uh, Johannesburg. So if this is the center here, the central ring, this is where Johannesburg is. So basically this was a crater that, that was about this big. It's approximately 300 kilometers or about 200 miles in diameter. So this is um, currently the most well-known uh, biggest crater that we have. But the thing is, we are pretty sure that there has got to be other craters that are even bigger. We just don't really know where they are or if they even exist on the surface anymore. And all of this is based on the fact that if you look at our beautiful partner, the moon, we know that there are craters that are so much bigger here. And because moon doesn't have as much gravity, the actual impact force would also be lower, meaning that it's possible that even larger impacts would exist on our planet. We just don't really know where they are. I've talked about them in another video, but there, there's one right here, super, super big one. And there's also one that's on the side that we can see from the surface of our planet, this. So both of these craters are really large, but how come we don't really have anything like this on the planet? Well, we probably did at some point, and then the erosion and the activity of water and basically the plate tectonics kind of covered it all up. So all of these early craters that definitely existed on our planet are just not there anymore. Now, it's very likely that one day we'll discover that some kind of a feature, like for example, maybe the entire um, Gulf of Mexico here was actually a crater all, all this whole time. Or maybe we'll discover one underwater by looking at these ridges here and discover that they are actually the rings from a crater. But for now, all of this is just a speculation because we don't really have any ongoing studies to try to discover if there are other really large craters right here on the surface of our own planet. Now, I guess most of you will probably also want to know what kind of rocks would create a crater, like for example, the one in, um, in South Africa. And for the most part, all three of the craters I showed you were probably created by something of this caliber. So this is a typical asteroid, approximately maybe 10 to 20 kilometers in diameter. Let me actually put something here that you might be familiar with. There is the Tesla Roadster from Elon Musk in space. So that's kind of what this rock would look like in comparison to this car. Basically a very large object, but the ones created on the moon though, specifically this here, were made by something entirely different, much larger as a matter of fact. And this object would be similar to a dwarf planet. It's essentially a minor planet-like object, approximately um, 100 to maybe 200 or even 300 kilometers in diameter. So these are tremendously big. These are literally mini planets. And so um, we think that these definitely collided with Earth too at some point, but the signs of those collisions just are not there anymore. And well, anyway, so that's kind of all I wanted to show you in this video. And let's just have all of this fall onto the surface of the moon, including the Teslas that are now also falling onto the moon. And um, hopefully now you know a little bit more about our solar system, our planet, and the craters that are located on uh, the surface of our planet. And if you get to visit one of them one day, you'll actually be impressed how difficult it is to even tell that you're inside a crater. On that note, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. And if you'd like to help this channel grow and help me a little bit with the Patreon, it actually is highly appreciated. Patreon does help me quite a lot in purchasing new equipment and basically making my life easier and independent of YouTube. And most importantly, because this is my primary career now, it actually does help me a lot financially. Anyway, on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.